Hello everyone, my name is Alan Tunstall and I am one of two IT ambassadors here in Barcelona, Spain. Currently I am in the center of Barcelona and Catalonia in general, which is Place de Catalonia. Normally this stuff is in here, but we have a huge festival going on this weekend called La Merced, which is going to be awesome and fantastic. But before we get into that, I'm going to meet up with the other ITAers at Belushi's Bar. Uh, stay with me for a moment, one second. It may get a little dark. So again, my name is Alan Tunstall. I am from Omaha, Nebraska, which is in the heart of the United States. Uh, more about myself. I am 26 years old and I have been teaching abroad for three years. I have taught one year in Florence, Italy, as well as two years here in Barcelona, Spain. I currently teach private students, which means I teach uh, classes particulares, which is just teaching privately in homes or in offices or as well as in cafes with uh, some students. If you guys have never done a Facebook Live before, it is a little weird. This is my first time doing it, so I apologize if there are some mistakes or if I say something wrong. Some of you also remember me, if you do, from the ITA Snapchat takeover. Uh, look at all those hearts. I love you guys. Thanks. Um, I'm going to try to give you guys a different look, a different perspective of Barcelona, as well as some of the ITAers here. Police. So currently here in Barcelona, we are doing, uh, they are having many manifestations because for many reasons, which you can look up later, um, Catalonia would love to, well would like, wants to separate from Spain, which is a whole other topic within itself. And you will see a lot of uh, independence flags, as well as a lot of, a lot of other things. So I'm finally here at Belushi's. And I have another person here that is helping me with ITA, ITA's World Alumni Day. This is Alex. Alex is a local from here. He's also a magician, which is one thing within itself, but we're so happy to have him here and helping us out, uh, getting things settled and hola, que tal? And we hope that he really, really stays with us for the rest of the night. Will you stay with us for the rest of the night? Yes, of course. Perfect. I'll see you later, yeah? Awesome. Now let's see how the other guys are doing. something to you and I think from the bottom of my heart they are probably the most best people you will meet in the world because this is Barcelona and they have a message for you. Are you ready? We, we, try, we try to time it better but it's okay don't worry. Um, as you can see we have quite a few people here and they are really 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 excited to be here. We have a lot of games and a lot of instructions for them here, as well as a lot of free drinks. Uh, if you give me one second, I will be right with you.
the other ITA ambassador here. Her name is Casey. Uh, Casey, would you like to talk about yourself for a little bit? Uh, no, I. Oh, I'll come back. No, I actually hate talking about myself, but um, hello. Uh, welcome to Barcelona. We actually met um, back in 2015. Uh, no, 2016. We met in 2016 because uh, Casey uh, asked a question. I'm a lot shorter than me. Yeah, like, you guys ready? Yeah, so she asked a question on the ITA feed and on the ITA Facebook, and I pretty much just answered, and we've been like best friends ever since because she lives down the street from me. We do everything together from eating to drinking and hanging out with things. Thank you, Casey. You'll see a lot more of her later. So now let's go to some alumni that are here. One yeah. second. So, um, Hi, what's your name? Hello, my name's Saida. Saida, where are you from? I'm from Toronto, Canada. Nice. Yay. And did you take your tipple online or in person? Yes, I took it online. I wanted to come to Barcelona to do it in person, but it just felt uh, more flexible good timing for me. Nice. I guess. And why did you choose Barcelona specifically? Oh my god, I've never been to Spain. I've always wanted to come here, but I everything I hear about Barcelona is like beautiful weather, right. great so, people, so, the nightlife, and so. I don't regret it. No, no, no. And how long have you been here? Two weeks. She's been here only two weeks, so she doesn't regret it. Come on, guys. No. Barcelona. Uh, one more question. Yes. Um, what was your first week here like compared back to Toronto? Thank you so much. I hope to see you later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, bye. So one reason why I chose to teach English in Barcelona is because I taught in Florence, Italy before, and the job market was very, very, very complicated. And I taught there for about a year. However, I had to take many different jobs, and with that, it was in a sense um, I couldn't work in the summer anymore, so I had to choose to either move to another country or go back home. And me, not being a quitter that I am, I choose to continue on. So I chose here in Barcelona because good weather, like it's already been said before. And with that, I think that it's been so far the best place ever. And let's go to another person. One second. Uh, oh, the droid. Hi, what's your name? I'm Bobby. Bobby, where do you come from? Uh, the U.S. Jersey, Chicago. Ah, nice. One more than one place. And why did you choose Barcelona? The laid-back Euro lifestyle. It's also true. Like the siestas here are ridiculous. Like I have taken, I take a siesta almost, almost every day, except for the weekend. I still haven't got into the siesta flow yet, but he will love in Barcelona will. already. <laughs> and do you plan to stay here, or do you want to teach other places? Uh, I don't know. It all depends on what I get, but I'm loving it here so far. Only five days so far. So Only five days. How is it different than in the U.S.? Uh, it's just extremely laid back. Everybody's just comfortable talking to anybody. They make you feel welcome. Barcelona's awesome. Perfect. And Bobby, I have to ask you one more question. What's that? Have you traveled much around Europe? No, it's my first country. It's first country. Wow. That's... I've flown through Europe a bunch of times. I never have. I've seen UK for like two days. That's about it. Great. Thank you so much, Bobby. See you around. Right. So, how did I find a teaching job here? I found teaching jobs because I'm a private English teacher. I teach online through. I post ads through online websites as well as. Um, word of mouth is the biggest thing. In Spain, it's still an up and coming country, and word of mouth, once you teach one family, that sets the toll for everyone else. Uh, once you teach one family, the next family, oh, I have a, my son is learning English. Uh, what would you like to do? As for schools, I do work with one school under the table that is outside of Barcelona because here the market is very, very, very intense. So I choose to work outside of Barcelona. 
As for the age of my students, it's from 3 to 65 years old. Let's take another ITA alum here. Boop, boop, boop. I'm Kayla. This is Kayla. Kayla, where are you from? I'm from Ohio. See, we're both Midwesterners, guys. You have to come here. Midwest is best, baby. Right? Even though I'm more Midwestern, she is. I'm in the middle. Wow. Okay. Sorry, sorry, okay. sorry. Okay. So, how long have you been here in Minnesota? I've literally been here like a month. Like, almost one, exactly one, one month. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's really cool. And what's your favorite thing to eat that's Spanish or California? Oh my gosh. So, I love, like, the cured ham. It's like so salty. Yeah, ham on. And then you put it on like this crispy like bread. It's almost like a baguette. And then they put tomatoes on top. Right. It's like, like oily, salty, and I love They literally that. take almost like a bruschetta, so which is like bread, but like kind of crispy. They take a tomato, slice it in half, and rub it on the bread, as well as take a, a clove of garlic, a little piece of garlic, and they put it on top. It's it's literally the most amazing, it's simple so thing you will have in I, your like, life. I can't believe I didn't eat it for 22 years until I got here. So right. good. And what's your favorite local drink? Oh my gosh, I like haven't even tried anything. Give me like a little time. I know it's been like a month. I love, well like, any like house red wine is like so cheap and so delicious. Yeah, precious. you can get red wine from anywhere from a dollar to two dollars, guys. Yeah. It's, it's so really, cheap. really crazy. It's delicious. It's so good. And yeah. it's really, really good for Sangria. And why did you choose to come to Barcelona? Oh my gosh, location. So like you can get to everywhere in Europe from here. Culture is like almost like California, I feel like. It's like very laid back and like relaxed, it's super fun. Um, and like everyone's super accepting and it's really international. So you can meet like tons of different people who are from all over. And it's just a really welcoming place. It's so much fun. Well, and have you traveled to anywhere else in Europe? No, except for Rome, like two years ago. Ah, quite a yeah. long We all know what she's going to do at Amsterdam. Thank you so much. We'll leave it with that. Thank you. So guys, I do not have one more IT alumni with me, but I do have my best friend. Her name is Chidima, and she is from Italy, but she's also an American citizen. She does not teach English in a sense with ITA, but she does do other English classes, and she actually was my roommate. I almost forgot. That's how, that's how we made. So I got my apartment on Idealista. And Idealista, and did you use Idealista too? I did. I okay, did. so we used Idealista, and with that, we just met each other and we lived together for what? Almost a month, month and a half. And a half. Almost two months, and she helped me with my Italian, which is really bad. So another thing I guess about myself is I speak a little Italian, French, English. A little Spanish, and I'm currently Catalan. learning Catalan. We actually both are learning Catalan, which is the other language here in Barcelona, well, Catalonia. Uh, what's the weather like in Barcelona right now? Unfortunately, it's becoming fall, so the fall is the more rainy season, but after that, it just becomes a lot more wind, and it, it gets a little cold, but not as cold as Omaha, Nebraska, with a lot of snow. Yeah, I'd say it's... Twenty-two degrees. Twenty-two degrees. I'm ready. Thank you so much, Shirima. Uh, see you later. So, what else can I say, guys? Barcelona is a really good place to stay um, for private English teaching. I just posted ads online, and with that, you get a lot, a lot, a lot of responses. Yes, you will get some responses of schools that say that hey, we need a uh, NIE, which is the documentation here in order to work, as well as other things like residency card. But there's really, really, really a lot of ways to get around it. Again, I work on the outskirts of Barcelona and sometimes in Barcelona. Currently, I, today, I worked in Terrassa, which is a city 45 minutes away. Normally what I do is I work in a city like Santa Maria La Barca, which is an hour away. I come in through Barcelona, and then I go to Terrassa to teach. So, Maybe my commute is about two and a half, three hours, but that is how you get work sometimes. And after that, you find classes within those, within those cities. I have a question from Paige. How long did it take for me to have a full schedule of private students? 
honestly, it took a week and a half to two weeks. It didn't really take long at all. As soon as I put one post, the rest was word of mouth. Like I said before, um, hi, I have a son who would like to also teach English. This is Lindsay. Hi, hi Lindsay, how are you doing? So Lindsay is also an IT alum, and Lindsay teaches English online as well as uh, some private classes, but she teaches with VIP Kid. I know a lot of you in the ITA Spain uh, discussion group teach with VIP Kid, and she's like the prime example. Prime example. Prime example. <laughs> so since you're here, Lindsay, she came here. She's late. Anyway, um, how long have you been in Barcelona? I've been in Barcelona for a year and a week. No, two weeks. A year and two weeks. So we met pretty much, I guess, a year ago, if you do not, right? And how do you like teaching online and how does that help you stay in Barcelona? Um, I really love teaching online. Um, it helps me stay here. Um, it helps me go anywhere, honestly. <laughs> but I love it because the time, the, the schedule is really good for here. And where are you from, Lindsay? I'm from Virginia. 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 So to answer some of your guys' questions, this is a new phone, I don't really know how to use this, one second. So from Matthew, when is the last time you visited the United States Island? The last time that I visited the United States was three years ago. So I flew into, so this is how my journey went. I got ITA certified and then I went from Omaha, Nebraska to Denver, Colorado. And then I went to Iceland and I had a layover in Iceland, which was really fun. If you haven't been to Iceland, I really recommend it. From Iceland, I went to Paris, where I stayed for a month for my uh, graduation present to myself. And then after that, I went straight to uh, Florence, Italy, where I taught. And then I went straight to uh, Barcelona, Spain. And I have been here the entire time. I have not been home at all. I do miss things such as Sonic, really good bacon, uh, pancakes. I don't know how to make them well. We do have a lot of American stores where you can buy American products, but it's just not the same, and it's kind of more expensive. I uh, hope I answered your question. Going to the next question, let's see. How much does it cost to live comfortably in Barcelona per month in U.S. dollars or euros? That's a really hard question because it depends on the person. For me, I take, for groceries, for example, it's about 15 to 30 euros a week. My apartment, which is in a really upscale, luxurious area, and I have a twin, not twin, sorry, a queen-sized bed, as well as a balcony, and it's really, really cute. I can't get meters because I'm not really good at meters or math, unfortunately. Um, but it's really, really, really big. It can fit at least 17 people in it. That's 370 euros a month with everything included. Uh, let's see. For my monthly pass for transportation, I pay about 50 euros, but that's about 150 euros total, so it's trimester, 50 euros. Um, what else can I say? Um, going out to drink, maybe you can spend 2 euros to 5 euros for a drink. A really good cocktail will cost you 6 euros, but it depends where you go. Normally with the other ITAs, we go to a place called Sin Montaritos. If you live in Madrid, you'll understand. And with that, you pretty much pay a euro 50. Two, two euros for really good drinks. Let's go for some more questions. What are some ways for people to meet in Barcelona? Some, play, some ways for people to meet in Barcelona are through our, AT, through our ITA group. Uh, there's also an app called Meetup, which is really, really good for meeting anyone in the area. Uh, that really, really helps people if you want to do jogging, yoga, um, swimming, anything you want to learn, it's called Meetup. And it's an application, so you guys can check that out. Let's see. What other questions do we have? That's it? Yeah, that's it. Um, have you been to a Barcelona football match? I unfortunately have not been to one yet. I plan to go to one soon, especially before I leave. Uh, I think I'm planning to stay in Barcelona for... Just kidding, I'm still going. So... <laughs> I have never been live before. Here's Casey, there's Lindsay. So, I've never been to a football match. I plan to stay in Barcelona one to two more years, and then after that, I plan to go possibly to South Korea. When I uh, taught English in Florence, Italy, I have a lead and a contact with a person who's the head of recruitment there, so I can't really give you more information on how to proceed with that. Let's see. I'm back. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's see. 
So I think that's it for Barcelona, guys. Thank you so much. Since I, as well as Casey, we are the IT ambassadors, we have to go check in on the other guys and make sure they're okay, well fed, and they have plenty of drinks in them. Um, how cheap, for the last question, how cheap is it to fly to other European countries? Once you are in Europe, it becomes pretty cheap, especially through Ryanair as well as Welling. <laughs> if you but, use a but, here we go. But sometimes it depends on what airline you use and if you have a visa or not. So that's what makes it difficult. That is also a good question. So since I am on an expired uh, visa, tourist visa for three years, I use technically Welling. Uh, Ryanair, if you have an expired visa, they will check you because you have to have a specified stamp in order to go to a different part of the country. Um, I would definitely use Welding and check other ones out. Again, make sure you do your research before you want to, before you decide to get a visa or not, because there are consequences and penalties. Uh, thank you, Ashley. Um, thank you guys so much. This is Alan, and this is Casey. I should have said I am Alan. I am Alan, and this is Casey. <laughs> this is unscripted, and there's Lindsay. Wait, wait. There, it is. there they are. <laughs> we are Thank you guys so much for joining us. I hope you guys enjoyed and hope you have a good time with the rest of IT Alumni Day. Uh, check out ITA for other information if you need other help. Um, I'm really happy. Uh, this is my second time hosting ITA, but the first time doing the live feed. Have a great day. This is Alan signing off from Barcelona, Spain. Kisses, petons, adeo.